Hi everybody, Pack Opening Addict here. Um, we are actually going to be doing a little patron break here. So, <clears throat> because these are very VIP-like, honestly they're like VIP without the, the, the 12 lands and the extra commons and the not, you know, how many uncommons did those VIPs have? But but that's really what they're like. They're like, they're like VIP packs that just took out some of the fluff. Although the lands were really cool, but here and there. Um, so what we are going to do here is we actually got two boxes and these two boxes are going to be broken up among seven people. Somebody could buy multiple packs if they really wanted to. Um, one person did buy two packs. Everybody else bought one pack. So we're going to do the first four. Then we're going to go into the next box for the next four. So I'm going to put this box over here for our second group. We got our first group. We got Enrique. You know what? Actually, let's, let's, let, me, let me do this instead. That's better. All right, I got Chase. I know it's, it's different than my normal MO. That's okay. There we go. I got Corey. Somebody's, one of these guys should get a label maker. And we got Buck. Uh, but then I wouldn't be amateur. Okay, so let me crack this thing open and then we'll divvy out some packs. I don't know, should I shuffle them up? I feel like I should shuffle them up. Just for the added rarity, uh, not rarity. You know, when you're trying to do three things at once, unless it's amazing. How the heck am I supposed to shuffle this up? Done. <laughs> I'd probably just put them back. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. All right, I'm done. <clears throat> Enrique, back. Chase, back. Corey, back. Buck, back. Good luck, everybody. In my experience with these, not all of you are going to kill it, just like VIP boosters. But I hope as many of you at least hit pack price. Here we go. Enrique, what you got? Show us what you've got. Oop. Leo, Sky Knight. We got the Basilica. The Bear's Companion. Thought Scourer. Is it Boiler Works? Coiling Oracle. Flickerisp. And we get into our first rare. Villainous Wealth. Anger of the Gods. Okay, we can do better than those. We can do better than those. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Drug Skull Reaver in the Foil Etched. And a Privileged Position in the Borderless Foil Gorgeousness. But... Not a good pack, unfortunately. We're going to move on here. Corey, you're next. It's going to happen, right? Every, I, I think a lot of you watched my all my VIP openings. Um, they're boom bust, baby. Traveler's Amulet. We got the Saber. Scion of Darkness. Unearth. Mall Drifter. Sweet. Unearth times two. Mentor of the Meek, and I think that's going to be into Tariel. Awesome angel. Ah, Crucible of Worlds. That's the first time we've pulled that on the channel in the Borderless artwork. That is, that is really cool. Okay. Oh, Foil Etched Liliana. Hello. Hello. Oh, sheesh. All right. And then a Phyrexian Altar Foil Borderless. Well, Corey, well played. Well played. Okay. Chase. Welcome to the channel, Chase. I should say it's a Corey too, but yeah, you know, he's he's been a regular watcher forever. Forever. Like God, Corey, you've been watching since the I feel like the beginning of the channel. When I was a I was a little guy getting like twenty views. Alright, lash wire like or lash live wire lash words. Oracle Bloodbraid Elf. There we go. Inquisition of Kozilek foil. That's sweet. Bloodbraid Elf Foil. And we got our first regular mythic. We got the Hellkite Overlord. Marchesa the Black Rose. In the really... I, I love the artwork. It's it's so cool. Rune of the Hidden Realm in the Foil Edge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oracle of Moldiah in the Borderless Foil. 
So Chase, that wasn't necessarily what you call a good pack, but you definitely got some, some cool cards. All right. And Buck, you are last, but probably not least. Let's see. Prophetic Bolt, Gruel Turf, Demir Aqueduct, Disciple of the Ring, okay. By the way, there was barely any, un any uncommons in those borderless. Ooh, Privileged Position, okay. Villainous Wealth Borderless, and what's this last card? Oh! <laughs> All right, Foil Dockside Extortionist, baby! Oh, that is definitely the big hit of the box right there. That is it. And by the way, guys, the, the good cards are going to get sleeved right after the video. That's why I'm not putting them in here yet. Um, congratulations, Buck. Just just for posterity's sake. Look. Congratulations. Okay. All right. Let's get into our next ones. We got Scott who's new to the channel, but not new to watching, Kasumi. I don't know if you've been watching all that long, Kasumi, but welcome to the channel. This is your first time, too. And Luke. Well, Luke, you're not new. You've been... You've been all over this, and I love it. Okay. Let's get this Snux box open. The box within a box. The novelty of the box within the box has worn off on me at this point. If I could get this thing there. Here it goes. Get open. All right, cool. Apparently, it decided to shuffle it for me. So we're just going to do that. Scott, Luke, and Kasumi. All right, we're going to do Luke last. He's got the two. Scott, we're going to do you first here. Uh, giggity. Okay. <clears throat> Aristocrat. There we go. Shadowborn Apostle Foil. I know I didn't call it out in my draft boxes, but... Flick a wisp. Inquisition of Kozilek times two. Azorius Chancery. Nice. Ah! Yeah! There you are. Mana Drain, baby. Mana Drain foil. By the way, I am still surprised. I would have never have guessed that they were going to put Mana Drain in this set that shortly after having it in Commander Legends. I, I'm still floored by that, but... All right. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ. Ulamog. Ulamog in a borderless. What What are you even doing? What are you doing? Okay, okay, you're going to take it back down a notch with a little Marchesa. Good card, but you know. And a thousand year storm, which is gorgeous. Well, not a big hit. That is good card, and that is gorgeous artwork in the foil borderless. But let's just, let's just go back for a second. Let's just, let's just. Really? What a that what a pack. Congratulations, Scott. Alright, Kasumi. Let's do this. Agony Warp, Monastery Swiss Spear, Dragon Arch, Bounty of the Lux, uh, Terminate. Love it. If that doesn't stick. Okay, we got Unearth, Coiling Oracle, Terminate Foil. And into our first rare, we got Revel Arc. Grand Arbiter. Really sweet artwork. The card has definitely crashed on price more than I ever would have assumed it would have. <laughs> I hope you like Grand Arbiter. <laughs> okay, doubling up on the Grand Arbiter, although admittedly I, I like this version better than this version. Actually, I think that... Why do the, why do the blue-white cards work so well in Foil Etched? It's crazy. Like, that looks really good. Oh! Hey! Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn. That is not etched. Sorry, that is not uh, textured, but still. As a foil Emrakul borderless. Congratulations, Kasumi. Congratulations. And at this point, Luke is now like, oh, crap. All right, here we go, Luke. Okay, Call the Feast, Orzhov Pontiff, Livewire Lash, Thought Scour, Boros Garrison, Spell Pierce, E Witness, very nice. 
So Glimpse the Unthinkable is going to be your first rare. All right, all right, all right. Cole, Cole again's Command. By the way, the completely ripped off artwork from I forgot whichever card that was, but still, good card, cool artwork. Ooh, ooh. Foil Esch, Green Sun Zenith. Weird part is that's probably like a $30 card right now, at least at time of filming. Who knows what's going to happen. Oh, this box is nuts. This, 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 this box is juiced. Um, we got a Smothering Tithe in the uh, Foil Borderless. Oh, sheesh. Okay. Your last pack, Luke. Okay, Might have old Crosa, Rogue Reinforcements. Okay, Oracle, Young Peasy. Blood Artist Foil, nice. You got Zer the Enchanter. All right, all right. Marchesa the Black Rose, okay. Oh no, not Fiery Justice. Is in de <laughs> this is the troll pack. Oh, sorry, Luke. You got the troll pack. Uh, I mean, I love the artwork. In fact, I got the playmat of it, and it's going to be in other videos after this. Um, and it might become one of my regular usage playmats. Like, I, I think it's, I think it's, I think it really sums up the chaos warp. Uh, but this is not the hit you want in the back of these, unfortunately. But. But you still got the smothering tithe. So congratulations on that. All right. That's it for the video, folks. Go home. You don't need to be here anymore. Leave. Thank you for watching, though. I appreciate it. Bye.